Hello, hello there and welcome back to Cliff Harvey RC Planes. I'm continuing with the Manuk build part 12 and I'm focusing today on making the struts. So far I've got the struts aren't going to be functional at all. They're just going to slot in uh, wings top and bottom and held in by each wing. So what I've decided to do, I've got a piece of millimetre thick plastic very strong stuff, not sure where it comes from. I'm going to sandwich it between two bits of balsa wood, 8th inch, and that'll be the strut. Then I can sand it to shape and the whole lot will just go down into slots inside the wing and they'll just slot down as far as they can and then the wing, top wing will just sit on the top and I'll have my struts. As I say, they're not functional so it's not the end of the world. Bit on the end here, and I it's just uh, hold it with that first layer on. There we are, guys. There's four of them epoxied up. That's that. Yeah, the struts are dry, and I've just decided to take off the covering on the top of the wing here. Let's bend it down a little bit. There you go. What I thought I'd do is just make up a little slide in box at the back of the wing here, um, and then a, a plate on the on the uh, outside of it and create a little box so these so then the struts will just be pushed in and then the top wing put on and the struts located in the similar slots in the top wing to get the angle right i'm going to have to assemble the wing onto the model so i'll put a piece on the outside and then that will form a box so now i can do the top one which is exactly the same. Uh, could turn it upside down for that, so perhaps I'll do this one. Make life easy in a minute. Hello, in there. that should complete that now I can go ahead and recover those and uh, sand the struts into a, a streamlined shape so thanks for looking in again guys uh, we'll leave it there for tonight still got the undercarriage to bend up though and the wheels to make Otherwise, we're really getting there. Thanks for looking in. Like and subscribe if, in fact, you did like it. If not, subscribe anyway. And I'll see you in the next one. All right, guys, I'm just about to um, have a little go at patching in the patches, in fact, on the wings. I've fitted the Fitted the strut holes, should we call them, fixing points. But I noticed I've sanded this wing because I'm going to paint it green. Uh, there's a couple of holes in the bottom which need patching, so I'm going to do that while I'm at it. So just put that over there. Right, it's got to be 18 centimeters. One there. Put it the right way up and the right way round. Put a dab on the there, 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 the top in the middle on the bottom, one in the middle there. Uh, pull it slightly at the front, pull that slightly. Right. 
right here we go tighten it out now edges are pretty well stuck all the way around so I'm happy with that holes for the struts those struts took a bit of making last night a lot longer than I had envisaged okay it's one make them reasonably tidy because uh, when I get my camera going in the cockpit I don't look down a scruffy old wing scruffy enough as it is okay there we are one wing done two wings done actually so there we are another step closer all coming together good morning guys uh cliff harvey rc planes cliff speaking had a fall my daughter gave me a nice brush to paint it with very smooth bristles but i had a thought i remember seeing some time ago putting paint on using foam so i've got plenty of foam here is a nice block. I'll, I'll try it with this little block first of all and uh, see if I can just sort of smooth it on. I'm going to start to apply paint here. It's got loads of paint in here. Let's just see. No, that's not too bad. What I wanted to avoid really was there's brush marks but I think I'm going to get sort of scrape marks anyway sort of as long as it's smooth that's the thing it's going a long way mind you if it's smooth I can put on more coats get a bit more paint on Quick. But these two pots I think they're only about well less than two pound each they're big pots um, so to paint your whole aeroplane for less than four quid because I've got a lighter cream for the underneath it's pretty amazing interestingly the, the fabric has softened off a bit which surprises me because You'd think it would be, hopefully it will stretch out again. It doesn't, it doesn't. I think it probably will. Um, yeah, I'm surprised it's, it's done that. I mean, it's only water based. The plane got wet while you were flying it. All that covering going saggy, would you? The trouble is, I don't actually know what this covering is. Pardon me. This brown is taking a bit more covering. Given the brown paint a, a, a sand in with um, a light fine sandpaper just to give it a bit of a key underneath and around the corner a little bit the thing with electric you can get away with very basic finishes that last pretty well no fuel proof to worry about Although I'll probably give it um, a 
a coat of let's paint all that and probably give it a coat of clear lacquer just to try and hold it all together a little bit we don't want it to actually sort of chip off as it were any more than it's going to anyway okay The fin and rudder is going to be different colours, so it's going to be a lighter colour. So really, uh, that was an experiment, see how it covered, which was okay. So we'll let that dry. I think I'll do half a wing because it's going to dry as it gets down there. Don't want to knock that. Okay, here we go. Start with the, I'll leave the tip clear for a minute, it gives me something to hold. This is working for me right now. Kind of fun to discover new new ways of doing things anyway. Trying new things. Might give one or two of you an idea if you want to try something similar. Okay. That's half the wing green chaps. First coat anyway. While that's drying, I can do this other half, I guess, or do the other wing. Let's do the other wing. I don't know how it's going to take, if it's going to look any different or not, but uh, there's only one way to find out. Okay, so that's servo. Turn that back, get some paint in there. Okay, that's that one done then guys, it's drying already as you can see. Looks quite, looks quite streaky, looks pretty good actually. <laughs> and now I'm going to mix mixed up a little bit of cream paint. Just touching along the edge with the brush. Don't forget these planes were finished in quite a crude way, I'm guessing anyway, you know. Okay, that's the underside done. Put a bit more on that one. I think I'll put a splodge of green on there as a trial. a little confession to you guys I'm rushing this because I've got bits of aeroplane drying in the house and uh, the wife's out so what she doesn't know can't hurt her but I've got to get this dried and back in here before she comes back not that she'll really mind but that's my target okay where to start let's start here no let's start Somewhere like that. One of my patches down there. Always good to paint a patch in. Because this wing's already had one coat of some sort of paint. I don't know what. Friend in the club's got an SE5. Not sure what kit it is offhand. I've got a video of it if you look up. Um, I'm not sure what it's called, Terry's SE5 flight or something. It's electric, but it's a super little aeroplane. So if I can capture a bit of the charm of that one in the air with this one, I shall be delighted. Fabric will take a little bit more, there we go. Okay. So that's the whole place had one coat of paint. Thanks for checking in. Cliff RV signing off from Cliff RV RC Planes. There's my website. Check it out. Well, you have checked it out. You're watching it. Okay, guys, check you later.